In this Contact Form 7 file upload location tutorial, I show you where the files are located on a server when someone uploads a file through your Contact Form 7 form. You do need a special add-on for this to work, and I've shown you that in a previous tutorial, linked to in the description down below. So if you don't have that add-on yet, check it out there. And this is a follow-up where I show you how to actually find the files on your server if you need them. You can also see them in your dashboard, so you might not even need to go to your server, but if you want to find them on your server, this is how you do it. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we are all about WordPress. And if you want to get better at WordPress, make sure you stick around and hit the bell icon or the thumbs up or both while you're at it. And with that out of the way, let's head into the screen capture. So in a previous tutorial that I've linked to in the description down below, we created a form where someone uploads a file and that file is then sent to you as the website owner. And that file is also stored on your server and inside of your dashboard, you can access that file. So the, the plugin that we used was Contact Form 7 Submissions. It creates an entry for every time a form is submitted. You can click on View to see that entry. And I go through this whole process in the previous video. In this one, I just wanna show you where you can find the files on the server once you have this. So the email content is here, the files at the very bottom. You can click on Open File to view it right from your dashboard. But if you wanna go find these in bulk, on your server, for example, you log into your cPanel account, you go to File Manager, you can do this via FTP as well if you're more comfortable in FTP, go to public underscore HTML, go to WP Content, go to Plugins, open the Submission plugin. Yes, there's lots of plugins. This is my demo site. I don't have this many plugins on a regular website, so don't worry, but this is a lot of plugins here. Um, that's incorrect. Go to Uploads. and then go to, it's also incorrect, hang on. Click on open file. So here's the path, uploads and then WPCF7. So uploads folder, WPCF7 submissions. And now we have folders in here, various folders. Each uploaded file will likely have its own folder, unfortunately. But if we open these guys, we have the file in that folder. And these both have the same file because it's the, I did, I tested the same thing. So the, the files will have their own folders. And if your form allows multiple form or multiple file uploads, then you have multiple files in each one. And you can access them. You can view them each individually through the submission plugin in the back end, or get them in bulk on the server by going to the uploads folder, WPCF7 submissions, and then you can either download all the folders at once if you want, or navigate through them however you want to do that, but then you can download them from here as well. Just find the file, click on it, click on download, and it downloads it to your hard drive. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you follow along, then hit the bell icon or the thumbs up, and check out our private Facebook group, link to in the description down below. And Next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.